Meanwhile, Earth's own rhythm seemed to have shifted. Researchers observed that Schumann's resonance on planet's natural electromagnetic frequency climbed from a long-standing 8.3 hertz to peaks above 30 hertz in the early 2000s. In controlled study, volunteers exposed to these rise in frequencies reported altered perceptions of time, sometimes feeling it speeding up, sometimes slowing down. Meanwhile, the science remains unsettled. Many insist that time feels different now than it did before 2000. Cultural data reflects these changes. Trends that once shaped years like disco or grunge now flicker and vanish within months or even weeks. Music charts blend genes, fashion, cycles accelerate, and language loses its decade-based markers. Where people once spoke of the 90s, now phrases like back in the day or these days take over erasing clear boundaries. As digital platforms personalise every feed, shared anchors dissolve. Neighbours may live in the same year but occupy completely different timelines, curated by algorithms. The result of fragmented experiences of time and collective moments are rare and the sense of a shared era fades. Some quantum theories propose that collective observation can influence reality. If billions experience a shift in perception, like around Y2K, that could subtly alter the flow of time itself. While the idea is speculative, the fact remains that post-1999, the world feels very different, fundamentally different. This fracture in our sense of time didn't just happen on its own. The way we label, the way we organise our identities has also played a role in quietly shifting the way we relate to the past and to each other. In recent years, the language we use to describe culture has shifted from decade-based identities to generational labels instead of talking about the 80s or the 90s. Conversations now revolve around millennials, Gen Y or boomers. This change has been subtle, but it has transformed how we organise our memories and relate to others. Decades once offered a sense of shared experience, distinct music, fashion and cultural movements that people of all ages participated in together. Generational categories, by contrast, sort us into narrower groups defined by birth years rather than collective events. Linguists and cultural critics point out this generational language is largely a marketing invention. By segmenting people into birth year cohorts, advertisers and media outlets can target audiences more precisely. But this approach often overlooks the reality of cultural participation cutting across age lines. For example, the so-called Millennium Whoop in pop music 